When the pH is 7, then it's a case where the sample is neither acids nor base. But less than 7, it's an acid, we say. More than 7, it's a base all the way. I'm going to quickly start with this video talking about hydrochloric acid. And you'll get the gist of why I'm doing that in a second. But what I want to show you first is just a general equation of hydrochloric acid in water. And we know that in the case of hydrochloric acid, it acts as the proton donator. And thereby, it is the acid. In this case, it will donate the hydrogen to the water molecule. And the resulting uh, ion will be a hydronium ion, which makes things more acidic. Now, when it comes to if we didn't have water in solution, but we had a hydroxide in solution, we'd have the same thing happening. It would still act as a proton donor, thereby acting as the acid, because it's, it gives its hydrogen to the hydroxide ion, and thereby making it into water. So in both of these cases, it has acted as the acid, because it has donated a proton. Now, that's what we expect for hydrochloric acid, to act like an acid. But what happens if, for example, we were to want it to not donate, but accept a proton. In this case, we've got hydrochloric acid, and wanted, we wanted to accept a proton, and thereby acting like a base. In this case, what it has to do is it has, has to grab a hydrogen off the hydronium ion and become H2Cl. If that were the case, it would be acting as a base. But really, I mean, we don't have H2Cl being formed. Chlorine itself only wants to get one hydrogen, it doesn't want two hydrogens. So this is highly unlikely, which means that it can act, so hydrochloric acid can act as a proton donor, it can act as an acid, but it cannot act as a proton acceptor. It can't act as a base. And that's kind of expected, so it's nothing new to this. But the reason why I want to go over this is because I'm going to talk about m 3 protic species, and those are ones which actually can both accept and donate depending on which kind of solutions they're in. So here we had a acidic solution, a basic solution, and it acted as a proton donor. And here we had a acidic solution, but it could not act as a proton acceptor in a acidic solution. The dopamine itself says identify amphiprotic substances and construct equations to describe their behavior in acidic and basic solutions. So identify them, we have to name a couple, so you need to remember a couple, and also describe their behavior in both acidic, so that was this one here, acidic, and basic solutions, and that was this one right here. And so we have to talk about. So first, I'll talk about the first one I'll talk about is hydrogen carbon ions. Again, it would be good to actually remember this because it says identify. So this the first one is hydrogen carbon ions. And first, I'll have it in the acidic solution. And how do you know it's a acidic solution? Well, we have these hydronium ions inside the solution, and those will make it acidic. This is our hydrogen carbon ions, HCO3 minus. And now what's what it's going to do? It's actually going to in the first equation in the acidic solution is going to accept a proton. So here we will have this one accepting a proton. And remember, if it's accepting a proton, it's acting as a base. Proton acceptors are base. So in this case, the hydrogen carbon ion is acting as a base. And our resulting product is the carbonic acid. So the first example acted as the base. And the second example, now we're having a basic solution. So we had a hydroxide in the first one. We have Hi uh, sorry, we had hydronium in the first example, now we have hydroxide. What happens here is it will actually give a proton. So here it will give the proton, so it will be a proton donor. And that proton has made H2O, so that's the product. And as you can see, the carbonic acid, as the hydrogen carbonate, becomes carbonate. In this case, we have hydrogen carbonate can both act as a acid, which it did in the second example. Here it acted as an acid, and it was in a basic solution. And it can also act as a base when it's in a acidic solution. Sorry, I should write base. So it will act as a base if it's in, if in acidic solution, and it will act as an acid if in basic solution. As in this case, it is actually a amphiprotic species. That means it can act both as an acid and a base, depending on what kind of solution it's in. And the other example that you should remember is are your hydrogen phosphate ions. So these are your hydrogen phosphate ions. You can see a hydrogen here and a phosphate. It's a hydrogen phosphate ion. 
And first, we have it in the in acidic solution. That means we have it being surrounded by your hydronium ions. Now, what's going to happen is, as you can see here, it's gone from HPO4 to H2PO4, which means it has accepted a proton, and that makes it a base. So in this example, it's acted as a base. And that it grabbed the actual hydrogen off the hydronium ion, the hydronium ion becomes water itself. That's the first again, hydrogen phosphate <coughs> sorry. Hydrogen <coughs> sorry sorry. Hydrogen phosphate ion acted as a base in the first example. That's if it's in acidic solution. And in the second example, the same ion. Now we have hydroxide, which means it's in the basic solution. Now what it's going to do, it, it's going to give its hydrogen to the hydroxide ion and thereby making it a phosphate ion. So in this case, it's acting as a proton donor. It has donated its proton to the hydroxide to, for it to make water. In this case, it's a proton donor, which makes it an acid. So it will act as an acid if is in basic solution. So just to sum up this dot point, what you need to know is you need to know these two different substances, hydrogen carbon ions and hydrogen phosphate ions. You need to be able to come up with this formula because it says construct equations describing their behavior. So you need to be able to reproduce this formula. But it's very simple. If you remember this one, if you remember the actual initial one, and you remember that we have to put it in both acidic solution, which is the hydronium ion, and basic solution, which is just hydroxide ions. Then you can yourself deduct what happens. So in this case, if it's acting as a base, it will grab that extra one and go from HCO3 to H2CO3. And if it's opposite, if it's doing the opposite, it's obviously going to have less hydrogen. Right? So just remember what it means for it to be in acidic and basic solution, which means it has either these hydronium or these hydroxide ions. And it would be good if you can construct those equations and also describe what's actually happening and why it's happening. Right? So we said that they're grabbing, in one case, they're going to grab a hydrogen off hydronium to become carbonic acid. And the other example, that same ion will donate a hydrogen to hydroxide to become a carbonate ion. But yeah, I hope that was useful. Thank you for watching.